James, uh, who's the guy that needs Corden. to stop? Yeah, James Corden. That wasn't a good <laughs> show either. He needs to stop. <laughs> All right. I, I knew you were, were going to say. He needs to stop doing musicals. <laughs> he, needs, he needs to stop doing music. He needs to stop altogether. <laughs>Hello, everyone. Welcome to the First Once to Die podcast. We hope you're having a beautiful day, a marvelous day. We're a little bit into spring, so that's exciting. We're out of that winter dread. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, fun stuff. Um, well, I am here, Jonathan. I am here with my co-hosts, Alex and Jerome. What is up with me today? Uh, how are y'all doing today? I'm good. Chilling. Uh, just finished uh, Bel Air, so look out for a mini review for that soon. Uh, it was an all right finale. I don't think it was like incredible, um, but I think there's a lot of cool stuff it leaves off with. Um, some questions that uh, are going to be interesting. Didn't like uh, funny enough, Jonathan. You said you hated Carlton after we did that review of the first uh, episode. One heck of a redemption arc. Like I'm by the end of the show, I was just like, man, Carlton's all right. I like Carlton. <laughs> Carlton. He started out rough, but he got better. Um, but uh, yeah, it was it was a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent uh, show, I must say. Also, glad to be starting a new show with Moon Knight. Just came out. Um, I have thoughts about that first episode, but I'll save that for like another thing somewhere else. Um, but overall, though, other than those two things, my entertainment stuff, doing good. All right. Nice. Alex, how are you doing today? Uh, not bad. Nothing too exciting. Just, you know, still getting accustomed to my new job. It's weird energy there. But um, yeah, nothing new in my life as of right now. Oh, I hope we finally finished building that shed. Me, and my sister. Hey, there we go. I'm so proud of that stupid shed. It upsets me the pride I feel when I see it now um but like it's completed it's nice and she started moving things in there so like that's like been the high high point of my month honestly stupid shed but i'm proud of it (laughs) how about you jonathan i'm doing good um yeah it's been it wasn't wasn't an eventful week which i feel like is good um it's always good when you know it's standard nothing too um extraordinary happened this week but um except so maybe nothing extraordinary happened for me but something extraordinary happened for chris rock and will smith <laughs> because so I, the slap I heard around before, the world before the podcast that it was so funny that you actually last episode was like yeah that thing that happened at the oscars we don't know what it is because we pre-recorded this episode but man that was crazy and i'm like little does he know a little bit past jonathan <laughs> you were prepared know, for it sunday was going to be <laughs> <laughs> a wild night um yeah. i'm tired of talking about this man <laughs> <laughs> not not well, not to not to say we shouldn't talk about it here but just in in general as this week has gone on it's just been non-stop I'm, coverage about these two and it's kind of getting annoying <laughs> i get why it's still like being covered um my only annoyance is right now that's all that's on my tiktok <laughs> and I like watching TikTok. It gets me to disassociate, but right now it's just like, oh, Chris Rock and Will Smith. But like the first couple of days I found interesting. Now it's just people are doing like making jokes or somebody made a joke about how like DJs are going to like use that sound. Keep my, wife, my wife's name out of your mouth. Like for oh the next like gosh. for an intro for like every song they do. And I'm just like, Jesus, I bet they will. I bet they will. Like, I'm, I don't doubt that DJs will do that. I've just been interested in hearing all of the dissertations around it. All of the podcasts I've been listening to have been discussing it. And it's interesting to hear people's different takes on the situation. And a lot of it has to do with, first of all, identity. The people who are talking about Um, the situation. I feel like there are definitely narratives coming from a certain group and another narrative coming from another group on the situation. 
Um, but I'm just looking forward to, you know, hearing what Chris Rock has to say about it. I know he's done some some shows, some comedy shows, um, and then ultimately hearing what, because you know that Red Table Talk is going to be white hot. It's not going to be a Red I Table mean, anymore. Will it's going to be white. apologized, and I think he, I think it was also news today that he resigned from the Academy, I think, too, today. Oh, resigned from, I know they were talking about disciplinary action that the academy was furious with him and they're I heard it was looking at potential some disciplinary action him to, some of the academy uh people asked him wanted him to leave others uh didn't want him to leave um probably because they knew he was going to win the award that night so they were like no i mean you know it was an instant and he's going to win the award tonight anyway he might as well stay um and then they and then that they couldn't make a decision to which i'm like okay so it didn't matter like, it, yeah. it's like, that's what I mean by like, I'm annoyed at the news. Cause most of it's just like, well, I mean, we were gonna kick him out. It's like, okay, but did you though? No. Then why are we talking about it? Because, <laughs> because it's like, yeah, you could have done a lot of things. Will Smith could have not walked on that stage. Chris Rock could have not told that joke. What happened? That's what I was telling my sister. Is what matters. I, was like, I don't care about what could have happened. <laughs> I was talking to my sister about that. I'm like, you know, there is a stigma. There is such a big stigmatism with black hair. And especially with women with black hair and not being able to have their natural hair, you know? And then there's Jada, Jada who has alopecia and all this issue. Chris Rock was even in a documentary about women. He black made women. the documentary. He, he made, oh, it. He made yeah. it. Oh, he produced it. So, okay, with, with that being said, <laughs> I don't under, and I understand these things are like, they have rehearsals, they're performed. Multiple writers are involved. I mean, Chris Rock may have not written the joke, but multiple writers. No, How no, did he, was go- ad-libbing. he was ad-libbing those jokes. Oh, then, uh, yeah, I heard it was off the they, cuff. They trusted him. You know, they were like, we got a comedian who's good at ad-libbing, so we're just going to let him riff. But it's also mm-hmm. Chris Rock. You're going to tell me they properly trusted Chris Rock to ad-lib all those jokes. Well, the thing is, is that everybody I heard was that actually some, it was, but it was about- thing, somebody was wrote it too, and I heard that too. I, another article said, yeah, that joke was written. And that's what I, I was saying. I don't think that, the joke was written, but I, I'm sure he had it prepared, like in case he saw Jada Pinkett Smith, because she's been uh, rocking that. Uh, well, I, I, I don't want to call it a hairstyle because it's not a choice to wear her hair that way. It's just due to her medical condition, she's wearing her hair that way. Um, but she's uh, had that look now for a while. And so I'm sure Chris Rock prepared that joke in his back pocket for the day he would be he would see Jada Pinkett Smith was also G.I. Joe G.I. Jane joke wow why are you making a joke from like an 80s movie or it's 90s true. Movie I, or saw, I said the same thing I'm like who oh, in the nice. hell is talking about G.I. Jane in 2022 you know how Who's old that movie yeah. is <laughs> Demi like, Moore is over that movie and she was in it <laughs> like that was like a really like stupid joke in general it was an outdated joke and like yeah you created a documentary talking about black women's hair and then you go make a joke not only about a black woman's hair but also a medical condition mm-hmm. what what made you think that was going to all turn out okay because if will smith hadn't smacked him somebody was probably going to be like his shit would have probably gotten like actually having will smith smack chris rock probably helped him not get shit canceled in the future <laughs> well i think i, I think the thing i, I time, think the though. thing was i think the thing was the reason why chris rock um is you know in a lot of people's eyes seen as the bigger person is because of the way he handled it after he got hit upside the face hit into next week we haven't even kept caught up to uh, to chris rock yet because he's already in next it week. wasn't even that hard but, of a hit <laughs> that was a hard hit. No, it yes. that he looked like a hard slapped. hit. He got slapped. It was open hand. Yeah, it wasn't even that bad. If he got backhanded, then it would have been a whole other thing. <laughs> this a, a a tap, I'd say, is a is a is a is a light hit. But he he used his he used some force there. Will you? He he might not have used all the Listen, force he could have used, but he used saying, some force. He didn't get the hit that hard because if he did, Chris Rock, if a real hard hit, Chris would have swung back. He got hit hard enough to maybe like you know move. I don't, I don't know. But I don't. I don't know if Chris. I don't know if Chris Rock would have used the phrase "he slapped the beep out of me" if it was just a like that. People who get tapped in the face and, just, and are on stage say that. 
<laughs> leave it leave it in the comments below okay we need to put up a i poll. don't know like i think he got this i the think beat chris slapped Brown, out of him i think he may have just said that because if he really did he would have either fallen down would have right. had more action we or saw like, it on also, tv right and i saw it we and heard like, the noise no, like, I, it, it, it looked hard, like no, a big no. it looked like I'm a good amount it of wasn't a hard slap but it was still like compared to what it was the man it did actually didn't look that hard of a slap for him to be like oh i got the you know shit like hit out of me also like chris brock is a very skinny tiny man <laughs> like well regardless i don't feel like a much force can, can regardless now come over regardless of the force regardless of the speed or strength of the hit i think we can all agree that it was inappropriate to assault chris rock on the Oscar stage. Same. I don't no. think he should have, if he was going to hit Chris Rock, he should have waited to the after party and sneak him real quick or something. I don't know. But no. not live on television in front of everybody, first of all, because that that's the biggest issue for me. I don't care about, um, you know, whether Will Smith is right or wrong, because I understand where he's coming from, because this isn't, it's not even just that Chris Rock made that joke that night. This is premeditated, because the Smiths have been the butt of many jokes throughout the years, given their open marriage, given their kids, given a lot of other things that a lot of people don't understand because they don't know them personally. And so they make fun of them. So I get that. And Chris Rock specifically made fun of Jada when she boycotted the Oscars and stuff like that. So there's prior history there. So and I get- they did Madagascar one, two, and three together. Right. <laughs> that's, so, that's the so it's like- We ain't know. getting the fourth one. Sorry, y'all. No, we're not getting a fourth one. Um, but it's like, so it's like, I understand why he may have been upset and why he may have felt that, like, you know, that was like the last straw and he just had to go up there and smack Chris Rock. At the same time, though, I don't agree with the motion um, to do it on live television. But my biggest issue is that if you ask anybody what happened at the Oscars, all they can talk about is Will Smith and Chris Rock. Not the fact that for the second year in a row, something that's never happened at the Oscars, two women have won Best Director. Not the fact that a deaf, uh, deaf man is now the second person to ever win Best Supporting Actor. Not the fact that Coda, a movie with majority hearing impaired cast, like main cast, won Best Film. None of those things are ta- being talked about. Everybody's talking about Will Smith and Chris Rock. Well, that like, happens with that, every That was more show. important. That happens with every award show that one thing happens. I'm more upset that they didn't talk about Jason Derulo falling down. That boy <laughs> with lip. No, I don't even know. That was so that was no, that's actually it's actually a myth. That's actually not a picture of Jason Derulo who falling is down. That? Whoever it's, that it's somebody is, else, they went, but it's in they were like, it's in the up. I'll look it up for you. Um I love that. but it's a it's a popular <laughs> internet myth uh wow. that Jason Derulo like tumbled he, down. I think he fell once and people are not letting him forget that. <laughs> because it looked uh, like him and like that the man's first, poor man's feet. Is the like first article, man. the first article that comes up that says Jason Derulo did not fall down the steps at the 2021. And I'm trying to pull up the article, but it's not. I feel to. like he would. I feel Emmy like Awards. that's his publicist just getting really <laughs> like, like they saw it what happened damage with, control. they saw what happened with Will Smith and Chris Rock. They're like, oh, thank God. All right. Nobody's going to know this. It's just somebody sent out to say it's like a fake, fake meme. Like whatever, it's fine. Now that being said, though, while you look that up, um, yeah, I think, I think though, I do, I, I feel that Chris Rock, that joke was tasteless and he should apologize or at least should have been aware to like all them celebrities that were sitting on the front row. You could have picked anybody. You had to pick Jada Pinkett Smith of all people to make fun of. And on top of that, make fun of her hair. You could have talked about uh, her movies. You could have talked about the fact that she looked like the Crypt Keeper in the Matrix Resurrections. You could have talked about a lot of things. <laughs> Instead, you decided to talk about her hair. Really? You know what I mean? Um, but uh, <laughs> but uh, at the same time, Will Smith, yeah, they're both wrong. Will Smith shouldn't have walked up there. Now, yelling from his seat is one thing, and that probably would have got the point across without having to resort to physical violence that's just my 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 feeling on it to be honest it's, it says sorry sidebar it says the photo actually dates back to 2011 and was not taken at the met gala but at a uh, Cannes film festival in france 
According to captions provided by photographers who caught the incident on camera, an unnamed man had been trying to gate crash the event. The man had attempted uh, to perform a stunt on the red carpet before the ceremony, blah, blah, blah. I still think it's um, Jason Derulo. <laughs> that's gonna, well, I'm gonna take that to my grave. I'm gonna take that to my grave. just said that. <laughs> um. <laughs> um, but uh, with all of that out the way, um, this is certainly a developing story, so stay tuned for updates. Or maybe not. Jason Derulo did fall or not. <laughs> Jonathan, I'm sorry. That, that wasn't took, the incident in question I, I was up, talking about. But. Oh. A good chunk of your time, but go ahead. Say what you were going to say about the Oscars. I'm sorry. Oh, I pretty much said, said what I needed to say. Um, yeah, I think both men were in the wrong that night. Uh, I think it was definitely an insensitive joke whether or not he knew that she had alopecia but I also believe that it was not the correct move to jump on the stage and slap that man. But I, think so I feel like I, I feel like an appropriate method could have been to state from your seat and school him with words, even yell, who cares? Yell from the Oscar stage, interrupt the program. You know, my wife has alopecia, I don't know. Something along those lines. He could even could have screamed that second part. He could have, could have said, keep my wife's name out your effing mouth. And in that case, I think he would have looked like the bigger person. But um, it's unfortunate how it went down. Uh, but there will certainly be updates. And I will be sitting in front of my phone All searching for those updates. It's going to be like, well, you know, uh, you know, we asked the third grandmama of so-and-so of this person who's the cousin of this person that was at the Oscars. And this is what they have to say about what happened between, because that's all the news stories are anymore. It's just what random celebrity can we get their hot take on what happened at the Oscars? And it's like, you weren't even there. What's it matter? <laughs> Although I, I will say I, all the white comedians who are just like, I don't even want to do comedy anymore. Cause now like he could have killed Chris Rock. All these people are gonna walk up on oh, stage. Oh, we talking up. about you, Judd Apatow. Yeah, especially Judd Apatow. It's just like, shut up. He did not hit him that hard. He wasn't gonna kill him on stage. He didn't walk up with a knife to shank him. Yes, <laughs> like, I, I do agree with that. It was not as, as that's hard that's as another, killing him. When I've heard shit like that, I was thinking, what are you scared of getting slapped for? If you, th that too, there was a, yeah. there was a serious reason. And if yeah, all these, like, true. cause I've actually heard that from quite, I don't think I've actually heard it from any other type of comedians other than white comedians. What jokes are you making that you're so scared your ass is going to get slapped for? That's true. Cause the thing is like Will Smith got, uh, or Will Smith, no, Chris Rock got smacked cause he made an insensitive joke to a specific audience member. If you're not making insensitive jokes to your audience, ain't no one going to get up there and smack you. More than likely. Um, and you are correct. In a developing, although when, by the time this podcast episode is released, it will have been days old. But he did resign from the Academy. He did? Um, okay. Will Smith, yes. Um, I think that was unnecessary. Also, also, that was I don't unnecessary. think he was going to be suspended. I don't think he needed to do that, to be honest. It, it, it might have been a case of you can't fire me. I quit. <laughs> Maybe. So, <laughs> That's true. Also, uh, well, Chris Rock is 57 years old. We can't be slapping <laughs> our elders. Okay? Aren't they about the same I age? Wanna... I think Will's in his early 50s. Okay. Got you. <laughs> I'll slap an elder. Look, I, I agree that Chris, that, that Will Smith could have handled the situation a lot more properly and like whether the joke was ad-libbed or written or ahead of time, that was still, a, it was still a stupid joke. Chris Rock above all should have known that with the documentary he made, the like social awareness and like saying that I'm a comedian is a bullshit excuse that a lot of people will use just to get out of things of responsibility. I'm actually on Will Smith's side. I think at this point now, Chris Rock needed to get his shit rocked because he was learning. Maybe yes, not on my camera or whatnot. <laughs> I couldn't think of another way to say it. I think, like, you're right. Not probably on, like, in the middle of the Oscars. Because it did take away from a lot of accomplishments. But honestly, had that not happened, the sh the rest of the shit show that was the Oscars, like, you know, Amy Schumer's inappropriate joke about uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's younger girlfriends, 
which another awkward fucking moment that happened. See, but that's where the thing nobody about said the Oscars anything. when people were like, in, de- in defense of Chris Rock, I will give him this. It's not like this is the first time this has happened. This no, is just the absolutely. first time anyone's done anything about it. Because there have been a lot of Oscars with a lot of hosts right. who have made some inappropriate jokes to a lot of people that come to the Oscars. Jada's not the first. I mean, there's a lot right. of and there's the And like that's also what I'm saying. The Oscars reacted in a way that was like, I understand what you're saying and you're trying to say violence is never the answer and blah, blah, blah. But like, there are so many actors, directors, people who should have been banned then from the Oscars for violent acts or inappropriate behavior or situations that have been occurring occurring in their own personal lives that have now taken the front view and should not be around or should not be awarded. And the fact that the, the Oscars is making, they're making a big deal out of this as well. And at the True. end, Chris Rock was asked, do you want to press charges? Whether whether one can agree if this was assault, whether one can agree like, oh, this is, you know, standing up for a bigger view. Yes, he did get hit. And Chris Rock was directly asked, hey, do you want charges pressed? And he's like, no. He probably understood why he just got smacked, mm-hmm. which is why he even apologized for the joke. And Will Smith was like, yeah, that was inappropriate. I acted on an act of emotion, complete emotion, because that was his wife. And clearly this is something she has been personally struggling with. And now she finally feels comfortable to go out in this, the natural way of, you're right. I I don't know how to call it her. It's not a hairstyle. It's not a choice. Feeling more natural, more comfortable with the medical condition she has. And immediately in front of one of the biggest award shows, she gets mocked. So going through all that, I understand Will Smith's side and acting on emotion. Um, and Chris Rock was asked, like, hey, does do you want to go this route? And he's like, no, I get what I did. <laughs> so, like, I think the Academy, honestly, has no place in it because it's now not between you. The people worked it out. The people involved all worked it out. And, like, well, if you suspend. really want to... They, Chris- they are mostly debating suspending him because it's like, okay, if he felt comfortable enough to just walk on stage in the middle of the show and smack one of the hosts, who's to say he won't do this again if anything ever And that goes back happens. to the whole, what jokes are you planning on writing that wants to make people smack you? Well, they Maybe can't prepare because just- if they let people ad-lib, this Stop letting people again. ad-lib. Look what happens when you let people ad-lib, especially <laughs> at comedians who have been known to make tasteless jokes like Chris Rock. That's like putting Dave Chappelle up there and being like, oh yeah, just say whatever you want. That's true. The only, out, right? never the only the way you'll get people, the, right. The only way you won't get people to ad lib is if you pre-record the whole thing and edit out the parts that you don't want people to see. Like certain ones are like, you're okay to ad lib and that's like fine. But like at the same time, this is an award you know how like ever since this award show has been going one thing will take focus nobody gives a shit about the awards after something like this happens and then everything and then you got to deal with this it's like no you can ad lib cool but like do not have most of your script ad lib because clearly it does not work out there has been recorded history of things not working out and like it's now I feel it's the Academy's fucking fault at this point that you're letting this shit happen. You know what you're doing. You know the host you're getting and you know what they're going to do because most of the hosts they get aren't good hosts. There's not been going like James. Uh, who's the guy that needs Corden. to stop? Yeah, James Corden. That wasn't a good <laughs> show either. <laughs> he needs to stop. <laughs> All right. I, I knew you were going to say. <laughs> we <laughs> need to stop doing a musical. He needs, he needs to stop doing music. He needs to stop altogether. <laughs> he just needs to be stopped at the, at this point, honestly. Uh-oh. With Here's all respect, I do like him, but like I need you to stop getting involved in my musicals. Here's the thing. Is that here's the thing though is like I I'll tell you exactly why the academy keeps hiring comedians like Chris Rock, like a uh, um like, you know, any other comedian oh, uh are, Ricky like Gervais humor or Ricky Gervais the reason why is because they're losing ratings the ratings have never gone up that's they're, what well, no ratings went up 56 percent this year yeah because <laughs> because of the, shit. Because of the drama and that, the point is, is that like the ratings uh, unless there's unless they hire people like this to you know bring some like a little bit of like some risque entertain or not risque what's the word I'm looking for um more Salacious. like edgy, edgy comment, like edgy uh, moments to the Oscars, people will stop watching and then they won't be able to get all the money 
than they get for doing in the Academy Awards. And Remember when the most talked about thing that happened on the Oscars was a group selfie that Ellen right, took? At Ellen Remember? took. And that was boring as hell. That's why no one talked about it for as many days as they've been talking about this whole Will Smith thing. Because But that's what I'm saying. Like the Academy tries to be, oh, we're gonna do this. And that. No, like we know what you're doing, and we know what you're doing by hiring these hosts. So like nobody's actually surprised by when shit happens at the it Oscars. almost sounded like you said hiring these hoes. Anyway, I mean, I mean, who that's knows where thing. Chris Rock's been? He's been popular in the 90s. Hey, I feel like any hey, actor in the listen, 90s. All right, that man plays the tambourine for his wife <laughs> or, or girlfriend and, he's divorced now i don't know oh see there you go and he's he created his every, he's and back he in his created, whole face and he created everybody hates chris which has been playing all over people have been using that one real like after the smack everybody hates uh, chris. i saw i saw somebody do a 3d rendering of will smith's character from shark tale and Chris Rock's character from Madagascar. I've seen a lot of that too. Walking up to the stage and the fish slapping the zebra, and you hear the oh, audio in the background. People, the internet needs to be stopped. I mean, <laughs> heck, when along I along with James Corden, we I found out while I was at work, and then uh, they were like, uh, one of my coworkers came in, like, "Yo, did you hear about Will Smith smacking Chris Rock?" I was like, "What?" Look it up on YouTube. Whole page filled with just multiple copies of the video. So the internet works fast. Like it is I, very I watched fast. it. I watched it live um cuz I was live tweeting the ceremony for work. And I I couldn't really put any anything about the drama on on the work account. But <laughs> for, when I was watching <laughs> it like, personally, oh. right. When I was you watching see, it cuz that's a question. Uh they they were uh were editing it real time for uh for the west coast so did you see the yes version, and it was messy it like real, it, the real version no because the the uncensored version that only aired internationally so in like japan and australia the coast, and the uk the un- unedited no the east coast because the the west coast feet in america they air the show the oscars all at the same time so oh, when it's 5 okay. p.m here it's airing at 8 p.m on the east coast so we're all seeing the same footage but for when that drama happened, you see, so I missed the part where he actually slapped him. All I saw was him walking to the stage and I was like making dinner or something. So I went to the other room and, or no, I saw him walking back uh, when I came into the room, I'm like, oh, what happened? And then I just see Chris Rock like smiling and then it, it just is frozen. And then I'm like, oh, that's weird, what happened? And then it cuts to Will Smith. You can't hear the audio. You can just see him mouthing, keep my wife's name out your effing mouth. And, and you could clearly tell because he was saying it. So like he was enunciating it very well. Mm-hmm. So you could tell, you could lip read exactly what he was saying. And we're like, what happened? I called my mom. I'm like, did you see that? And she's like, what the heck just happened? <laughs> and, and, and then she tells me about the slap. I'm like, what that happened? Because I, I didn't, again, I didn't see it. And then I looked on on Twitter and everything. Everybody's talking about like what what the heck just happened. Uh, a lot of people have been mentioning like they thought the slap was a bit, like they thought it was fake. They thought I, it was staged. I wasn't sure if it was real too for a minute until like yeah. until I saw his face when he got back at the seat. I was just like, uh-huh. oh, oh no, yeah. this real. Like he is he uh, mad, mad. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and and well, God, uh, dang, I especially. Yeah, especially a lot of people in the audience as well. I, I you think you saw Lapita's face behind him. Yes, yeah, Lapita didn't know what to do. She was just like, "Oh, what shoot, is it? Yeah. Was it? Uh, is, it was I, Zendaya and an, another actor. Like immediately after the slap happened, they like you could see these two actors. Right oh yeah, people were like, people, people, it was Andrew <laughs> Garfield. They yeah, had his phone. He had his phone out, and Zendaya had her phone out at one point too. So people are people are, are making up like conversations of what she was like, telling Tom. She was like, like hey, did Tom, you see what just happened? Right." <laughs> Or some, somebody put a caption like, yo, Tom, you'll never guess what happened. So Chris Rock. And <laughs> so people were like making up that conversation, but it was crazy. I saw another angle. I think it was this was on TikTok or something. Someone pulled out their phone who was sitting behind Will and Jada. And you could just see kind of the side profile of Jada as Chris at, right after the aftermath of, of Will slapping Chris. And she was actually laughing at... Uh, Chris, when he was like, Will Smith slapped the beep out of me. Um, 
because I don't know, maybe e- she even thought that it was part of the joke or something until she saw Will's reaction. And she didn't even look at Will when he was screaming at Chris. She was just looking at the stage and was just kind of like stoic. So I Ryan wonder Gosling what laughed. was going through her they head. showed his reaction. He, he was laughing. <laughs> was he even there? I, don't, I didn't even know he was there. I- I mean, they they posted a whole thing of like all yeah, the reactions like a, of all these people actors and Ryan, they, Ryan Gosling was one of them. So, so okay, okay, that was also fake as well. Oh, that was also gosh, good. I was about that, to say that was that was, <laughs> was from like, the what's wrong? that was those reactions because half those people who were in that picture weren't even there. The Rock wasn't there. Ryan Gosling wasn't there. That picture was from uh, the 2016 or the 2017 Oscars when the La La Land mix up happened. Those are the reactions of the people from that. I hope Ryan Gosling wasn't laughing at that <laughs> situation because it's just like, that's messed up, dog. <laughs> I know you were in the movie, but still. I would have um, laughed. I laughed, actually. Anyway, so yeah, that's our thought on the Oscars, people. We're moving Yes, on, yes. Uh, to, Wait, uh, one happier thing. So anyway, yeah, that's our, that's our thought on Oscars. <laughs> There's going to be like a weird, where we've all shifted a little bit, by the way yeah don't worry about it just like it's it's all good anyway the, those um, are our thoughts on on the oscars Slapgate. <laughs> jesus <laughs> i will appreciate nobody has been calling it that though i know i'm surprised nobody's called it that i've heard more people call it the slap heard around the world although i do love yeah i do agree with uh kev on stage i watched their uh their me too i watched that one today they here's they the thing right where they were like yeah, yeah, Wills didn't get kicked out because white people don't care when we do things to each other. If it had been a white person on that stage, yeah, Will would have been kicked out. <laughs> well, no, because there's a long history of like white people bum rushing the Oscars. I mean, back when John uh, John Wayne tried to like beat up the Native American who was taking the award uh, from. Oh, I'm so, I'm, and oh yeah, yeah, and nothing happened then. Nothing happened. They just escorted him. That back was to a different seat. time. And he, I'm talking about we were talking about 2022, like. Oscars. And he shouldn't. He shouldn't get his Oscars. He shouldn't get his Oscar taken away either, because yeah, as many people have mentioned, Harvey Weinstein currently locked up and still has his Oscars. Yeah, I don't um, think Will Smith deserves to have his Oscar taken away for this. I think he's, you know, he he rightfully earned it. Yeah, he earned it. It's not like he was, although I do like the narrative, though, that it would be. It's like, and the Oscar for best actor goes to Benedict Cumber. Then they look over and Will Smith just standing over there with his hand ready. And they're just like, Will Will Smith (laughs) for King Richard. Sorry, Benedict, as always next year. I know on the (laughs) Kevin stage. Come on over. (laughs) On the the Kevin stage podcast, because he he was at the ceremony. He said his wife turned to him and said, they gonna switch the envelopes now that he done slapped yeah, his I mean, rock. <laughs> I only not to say that Benedict Cumberbatch should have gotten it over Will because I, I it's just that that's the name I remember from the Oscars because I don't remember who else was nominated. Oh, uh, Denzel Washington though is probably just Denzel. Like, it could have been a second one because <laughs> <laughs> he was also nominated too. Mm-hmm. They actually had some it. pretty good nominees this year. Yeah, they did. Like I didn't yeah, see yeah. Tragedy of Macbeth. Um, or Power of the Dog, I need to but see I heard it. those were great movies. Um, I do know. So do you know about the whole Scottish play thing? You're not supposed to say. Yeah. You're, oh. and, and Chris Rock, he, he, called, he said the name right before he got slapped. So there's this group that my drama teacher from high school added a whole bunch of students in. And after that, he posted, or one of the students posted the fact that Chris Rock said the name of the now I'm afraid to say it. He said the name of the Scottish play before he got slapped. So it's like it rings true. I love theater kids. Y'all are so much. Y'all are so extra and I love it. Always, always and forever. Y'all so much. And I appreciate it though. I'm not trying to insult any theater kids. I just love y'all. You're just so into things. And like I love that energy. It's a lot sometimes, but like go for it. It says zip zap zap life. It's a theater right, game. That note, anyway, I, that was you, definitely a theater thing. That was nowhere close to like a normal person thing. <laughs> Jonathan, where can people find you? <laughs> you can find me and all my theater kid 
wonderful and wonderfulness at Jonathan Keys on Twitter, Instagram, wherever you please. All righty. Alex, where can we find you at? Alex and Nobody on Instagram and on TikTok. And TikTok is also where I handle the podcast, uh, First Ones to Die, where I post little bits of our conversations there, give you a little taste. Last video I posted was of Jerome drinking milk. I'm still not cool with that, but I found uh, quite a bit of people in my life do that. And now I'm rethinking everything. What about you, Jerome? Where can we find you? Be my fellow milk people. Uh (laughs) I'm going to just post that you said that like everywhere because the context without context how I feel. Anyway, I'm getting picked on by my big sister about milk. All right. (laughs) So. That's how I will it always, yeah, no, yeah. New well, it should be. <laughs> I can bully that out of you. I can drink milk, I guess. <laughs> you can find me at not Jerome Red on Instagram as well as at Robos the Media and at Jerome underscore the underscore show for all the other creative stuff I'm up to these days. Uh, and you can also find all of us at the first ones to die on all our social medias as well as uh, on the, all the places you can find podcasts to listen to the audio version and on the YouTube channel as well, where you can find all types of extra content like mini reviews, book reviews, vlogs, video game content, all types of other stuff. So if you want to see extra content that you can only get on the YouTube channel, go on over there at the first ones to die to check it on out. Nice. And tune into our next episode because we are going to review Turning Red, the new Disney Pixar film that recently came out. And so if you saw the film, even if you didn't, join us for the episode and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. So uh, we'll see you next time. And this is The First Ones to Die. Bye, everyone. Peace.